Hola, mi nombre es Ruth and today I'm going to read you un cuento, which is a story. El cuento is called Pedro Rabbit and it's by a lady from quite some time ago whose nombre was Beatrix Potter. Comenzamos. Pedro Rabbit, based on Peter Rabbit, by Beatrix Potter. Once upon a time, there were uno, dos, tres, cuatro little rabbits, and their nombres were Flopsy, Mopsy, Cottontail, and Pedro. They lived with their mamá, in a sandbank, underneath the roots, de un muy grande fir tree. Now, mis amores, said old Senora Rabbit, una mañana, you may go into the fields or down la avenida, but don't go into el jardín of old Senor McGregor, your papa, had un accidente there. He was put in a pie by Senora McGregor. Now, run along, mamos, and don't get into any mischief. I'm going out. Then old Senora Rabbit took a basket and her paraguas, and went through El Bosque to the baker's. She bought una botella de limonada and uno, dos, tres, cuatro little cakes called magdalenas. Flopsy, Mopsy and Cottontail, who were good little bunnies, went down la avenida to gather blackberries. But Pedro, who was muy travieso, ran inmediatamente to el jardín de Señor McGregor and squeezed under the gate. Primero, he ate some lechugas and some coliflor. Then he ate some tomates. And then, feeling un poco sick, he went to look for some parsley. But round the end of the pepino frame, who should he encontrar but Señor McGregor? Señor McGregor was on his manos y rodillas, planting out some young plantas de broccoli. But he jumped up and ran after Pedro, shouting, Stop! Thief! Ladron! Pedro was muy, muy asustado. He rushed all over El Jardín, porque... He had forgotten the way back to the gate. He lost one of his zapatos amongst el broccoli and the other zapato amongst las patatas. After losing his zapatos, he ran on cuatro patas and went mucho más rápido. He might have escapado if he hadn't run into a strawberry net and got caught by the large botones on his chaqueta. It was a blue chaqueta with brass botones, quite new. Pedro gave himself up for lost and shed big tears, but his sobs were overheard by his amigos, the sparrows, 
who flew to him and begged him to try to escapar. Senor McGregor came up with a bucket with la intención to pop it over Pedro, but Pedro wriggled out of the strawberry net just in time, leaving his chaqueta behind him, and rushed into the shed and jumped into a watering can. It would have been perfecto to hide in if it hadn't been full of agua. Senor McGregor was quite seguro that Pedro was somewhere in the shed, perhaps escondido underneath a flower pot. He began to turn over the pots, looking under cada uno. Pedro sneezed. Achoo! Senor McGregor was after him immediatamente and tried to put his big gardener's bota on Pedro, who jumped out of a window, knocking over uno, dos, tres, cuatro plantas. The window was too small for Senor McGregor, and he was tired of running after Pedro. He went back to his work en el jardín. Pedro sat down to rest. He was out of breath and trembling, porque he was so asustado, and he had no idea which way to go. Also, he was very damp from sitting in that watering can. After un tiempo, he began to wander about, going lipti lipti, no muy rápido, looking all around. He found a door in una pared, but it was locked and there was no espacio for a fat little rabbit to squeeze underneath. An old raton was running in and out over the doorstep, carrying peas and beans to her familia in the wood. Pedro asked her the way to the gate, but the pea in her mouth was very grande and she couldn't responder. She shook her cabeza at him and Pedro began to cry. Then he tried to find his way straight across El Jardín and came to a pond where Senor McGregor filled his watering cans. Un gato blanco was staring at some goldfish. She sat very, very still, but now and then the tip of her cola twitched as if it was alive. Pedro thought it was best to go away without speaking to her. He had heard about gatos from his cousin, little Benjamin Bunny. He went back towards the shed, but suddenly, quite close to him, he heard el sonido of a hoe, screech, scratch, scratch, screech. Pedro se escondió underneath the bushes. No pasó nada, so he came out and climbed on a wheelbarrow and peeped over. Senor McGregor was hoeing onions. His back was turned towards Pedro and beyond him was the gate. Pedro got off the wheelbarrow en silencio and started running muy rápido along un sendero behind some blackcurrant bushes. Senor McGregor caught sight of him at the corner, but Pedro slipped underneath the gate and was safe, por fin, in the wood outside El Jardín. Senor McGregor hung up the little blue chaqueta and the zapatos for a scarecrow to frighten the blackbirds. 
Pedro never stopped running or looked behind him until he got to his casa, underneath the root of the grande fir tree. He was so tired that he flopped down on the nice soft sand of the rabbit hole and shut his ojos. His mamá was busy preparando the supper. She wondered what he had done with his little chaqueta and par de zapatos. Pedro wasn't very well during the evening. His mamá put him to bed and made una infusión de chamomile for him to sip. But Flopsy, Mopsy and Cottontail had morras deliciosas and little cakes called magdalenas and a drink of limonada for their tea. Fin I will make another video with the notes that are on the bottom of the pages and um, I suppose that one will be for the people who are reading the story to the people who are listening to El Cuento. I hope that you enjoyed El Cuento and I hope that you enjoyed El Español. Y nos vemos aquí muy pronto. Gracias y adiós.